Hey, MS Talkers, this is your girl, Ashley K, a.k.a. A.K. Angel, and I'm coming to you live. And I'm asking you to pray for my first love today. Um, this message might be a little sad, but I'm, on, I'm going to try my best to make you smile by the end. All right, let's get into it. Before we get started, I want to take a moment to highlight the, uh, our Black History Moment of the Week. I want to highlight and praise Shamar Franklin Moore. Some of you all may know him from Young and the Restless, where he played Malcolm Winters. Others may know him from Criminal Minds, where he played Derek Morgan. And others of you may know him from SWAT, most recently, where he plays Hondo. One little known fact about Shamar Moore is that his mother, Marilyn Jones Wilson Moore, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1999. And because of that, Shamar has done a lot to help out the National Muscle Sclerosis Society. He actually biked 100 miles with Bike MS to help raise funds for MS. And this is where it gets a little sad. Unfortunately, on February 8th, Shamar Moore's mother passed away from complications due to her MS and also heart disease. And this is a little known fact about me. Uh, when I was born, my mother and my sister named me after um, a character from um, The Young and the Restless. And I grew up watching The Young and the Restless and naturally my first crush or my first love was you know going to be an actor from that show and that was Shamar Franklin Moore and so I ask you all to please keep him and his family in your prayers um, help him during this grieving season if you look at his Facebook or his uh, Instagram, you can tell that he is really grieving because his mother was, you know, his best friend. He, he loved his mom. And the same thing would happen to me. Um, I, I know I tell my friends that my mom is my heart. If anything ever happened to her, I would be lost. I would be absolutely broken. Actually, MS and grief and depression kind of walk hand in hand um, because one can affect the other. And um, unfortunately, um, I lost my father, like I told you all before, in 2015. And it was pretty hard on me. And it did affect my MS. And once again, unfortunately, in 2019, I lost um, nine people that were close to me, um, eight family members. And one student and it really broke my heart and I didn't know how to make it but thankfully but uh, thankfully thanks to the grace of God I did whenever someone in my life suffers a great loss I recommend to them to read Psalms 91 um, I recommend the entire song but for the sake of time I'm only going to read verses 9 through 16 if you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil can conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't hurt your foot or a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them salvation. Now, this scripture helped out my sister and mom and I greatly when my father passed away and I pray that it um, helps out uh, Shamar more if anybody wants to share this video with him. Helps him as he is grieving so that he can ha find positive ways to grieve. And once again, I ask that you all keep him in your prayers. Now, the reason why I love this scripture so much is because um, it kind of shows 
how um, once you have lost someone, how God is still that great protector over you. Like, he will be there for you. He will be your shelter. He will be your guide. When you trample over snakes, he will protect you from being bitten by this poison. And I know that when I lost my dad, like, he was that overprotective father. Yes, it was annoying. By the end of the day, I still knew that I was safe with him. And when, he, when I lost him, um, I thought that I wasn't safe anymore. I was like, okay, how am I going to do this? <laughs> but God reminded me through this scripture, like, hey, I still got you. And so to Shamar Moore, I want to say, I know your mom still isn't there with you, but hey, God still got you. I also want to give my best friend Estella a shout out. Um, she is the creator of a blog called Posit Live. And positive live just means living out your life positively. Even when you're going through um, different life challenges, um, just try to like make um, steer your life in this positive way of being uh, through your mind, body, and soul. If you're not feeling well, you know, work out. And I know that's me, the the pot calling the kettle black, but I honestly, I may fight you <laughs> and I might hate it all the way through my workout. But afterwards, when I'm done, I'm like, oh. I feel better and you know eating healthy um you know just um and I know for me yes I may be craving bread right now as we speak but I feel great I had my chia seeds today and I feel absolutely amazing and just you know keeping like, doing the things that you love right um, and do all these wonderful things and just take care of yourselves when you get a chance check out my friend Stella's um, blog now, before I let you all go, remember last week I was telling you all how my dad always has this ability to surprise me for Valentine's Day? Well, he did again. One thing about my mom and I, normally we cannot keep an, an orchid alive. <laughs> we love orchids. My grandmother used to love orchids, and I grew up loving orchids, but we could never keep an orchid alive. But this year, you know, uh, I gave my mom a uh, an orchid for Mother's Day, and she kept it for a year, but the blooms kind of died off, and we weren't sure what was going to happen, but my mom kept watering it, and the leaves were still there, and they're still doing great, but we weren't expecting it to bloom, and actually, my mom told me, she was like, Ashley, I think I, I messed up the plant. I don't think it's going to bloom, but guess what? Right on Valentine's Day, um, that plant bloomed. And to me, that was my Valentine's Day present from my dad, that um, the orchid blooming. And I will attach a picture of the orchid at the end of this, uh, at the end of this video. And uh, guess what? It bloomed again. <laughs> so um, we're looking forward to um, two more blooms, I do believe. And we're so excited. And I just want to say thank you so much to my daddy in heaven. And I love you to life. And I love each of you to life. See you all next week. Bye.